Recently, we heard the news about the death of super football agent Mino Raiola following an illness. Before his death, he managed many high-profile footballers from different generations, completing deals worth hundreds of millions. He's currently regarded as one of the greatest football agents of all time. And today, we pay our respects to this legend as we bring you some of the qualities that made him great. So here are five reasons why Mino Raiola was one of the greatest agents in football history. But just before we get into it, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the One Football app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the One Football app. Um, you're welcome. So then, back to it. Number one, he always spoke up in defense of his clients no matter what. One thing Raiola was surely known for was his boldness and outspoken nature. And well, most times he used this quality in defense of his clients. And one of those famous occasions was when he defended Paul Pogba in 2018. So, do you remember the game at the 2018 World Cup between Australia and France? The game where VAR was used to award a penalty for the first time in history? Oh yes, that one. Turns out Pogba was on the receiving end of some harsh criticism from the French fans after the game. And that was even despite him scoring the winner in that game. Now, can you believe that? Well, Raiola wasn't having any of it, and so he came out to publicly bash the French supporters. He even went so far as to accuse them of being jealous of Pogba. No kidding, this guy really loved to stand up for his clients. And there was even that time he referred to Pep Guardiola as mentally ill and a coward for not playing Ibrahimovic. At one time, he even insulted Klopp for not playing Balotelli. Now, we're no fans of insults over here at Goal 90, but surely it would feel a bit nicer to have someone willing to stand up for you the way he stood up for his clients. So it's little wonder that all his clients loved him. Number two, he always believed in the value of his clients. When a person defends his clients the way Raiola did, surely it had to be because he believed in their ability. And this reflected in the way he never compromised at the negotiation table so was always sure to get the best deals for his clients. But it seems it wasn't just on the negotiation table that he defended his players. Turns out he was also willing to go physical for them. Yep, that's right. He once admitted he actually wanted to fight Pep Guardiola after the 2011 Champions League final match. And guess what? It was all because Guardiola sent Ibrahimovic out on loan that season, thereby depriving him of a Champions League medal. Well, Guess it was a good thing that he was prevented from doing that because we're not sure any of us would have had much fun watching the two men throwing hands in a boxing or wrestling ring. Number three, he treated his clients like his own family. A wise person once said that family isn't always people who share your blood, but family is who shows up for you. Hey, okay, we're not sure if that was said by a wise old sensei or just another young genius on the internet, but the point is they were actually right. Because though Raiola wasn't related to his clients by blood, he surely treated them like family. And funnily enough, he wasn't brutally honest to just clubs and coaches. He reserved some of that honest criticism for his clients too. That's right. And well, he believed that this criticism would help them become better. But as unlikely as it may seem, somewhere inside that seemingly tough guy was a real sweetheart. And the people around him knew it too. Little wonder people around him often described him as a charming person. Number four, he was an agent to many of the game's top players. Of all the reasons why he was regarded as one of the greatest, this is perhaps the biggest reason. He started out in the early 1990s as a middleman for player transfers on behalf of a football agency. And during that time, he helped complete deals for Dutch players, most notably Dennis Bergkamp. A few years later, he went independent and by 1996, he finally completed his first big deal, the transfer of Pavel Nedved to Lazio. But he didn't stop there, because in the following years, he would then go on to manage even more big-name players. Now, it's one thing to get top players, but what made Raiola really stand out was his ability to keep players at the top. 
so it was no surprise that young top talents including Harlan, De Ligt and Donnarumma all trusted him to manage their affairs. But he didn't only manage young players, no, far from it. He also managed some of the most established senior players in the world, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Paul Pogba and Marco Verratti were some of those names. Well, one thing we know for sure is, the man really knew his onions. Number 5. He made a whole lot of money while doing his job The thing with managing the biggest players is, you can only get such jobs by being very good at what you do. That means you must be able to protect not just the image of your client, but also their market value. And that's something Raiola excelled at. So this always made him able to get his players to the best clubs. And you know the thing with getting your clients to the best of clubs? It also means you'll get the best financial deals and not just for them, but also for yourself. Oh yeah, that's right. And this ability to maximize value from deals made him the highest paid football agent per deal in the world. No kidding. Did you know that following Pogba's transfer to Man United, Raiola pocketed about $26 million from the deal? And not just that, with his net worth of around a whopping $90 million, he was also one of the richest agents in football. Surprised? You shouldn't be. But then again, we know these figures might tempt you to believe he was only working for the cash, but we believe the other qualities he displayed showed that this was not the case, and the man really loved his job and his clients. And we also think he led a very fulfilling work life. So there you go. Are there any other great qualities you know about him? Do share your opinions with us in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get more cool videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.